Ladies and gentlemen, we are mere hours away from the drop of 22 Prism UFC. And I know some of you couldn't be more excited, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, forget that. 22 Prism UFC, old news, nobody's interested, and I'm going to tell you why. The hottest release of 2022 is upon us. I know what you're all thinking. You all already know what it is. There's no question. The spring drop of the Mace MMA Mystery Packs. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Chris here, Mace Collectibles. Happy Thursday morning to you. We're hours away, as mentioned, from Prism. Of course, I'm excited about it. I'm sure you all are too. Can't wait to see your nice hits there via Instagram. Uh, follow quite a bit of you on there. There's some good cards on there. I know I'm super excited. Can't wait to break. Um, by popular demand, I probably won't break in private. People are saying they'll bear with me. And uh, some of you who like to kind of nerd out on the cards will enjoy uh, how we break this first box of Prism here. Taking our time, going over the cards, checking them out. Uh, but all jokes aside, that's right. The 2022 spring drop of Mace MMA Mystery Packs are upon us, folks. We've got we've got $25 packs, we've got $50 packs, we've got 60 on up, 80, over 200. I think we're going up to, I think there's even a $500 pack. We've got packs for days, folks. Uh, just depending on your budget, what you want to spend, you know, what you want to gamble for. I can tell you this, every pack I have personally uh, checked myself gone over and looked at the values and I can tell you that as of the time of packing the products every single pack is going to have at minimum a resale value of what you paid for the pack now to be honest with you I'm using that as a safety blanket statement uh, but the truth of the matter is I would say 90% of the packs you should actually be able to make money if you don't like the cards that you pull You should be able to sell them and easily make money. I know some of them uh, Are easily double or triple uh, the value again. That's not to say all of them, but they all will at least uh, Should be able to recoup your money if you have any kind of uh, sales experience whatsoever on eBay or Instagram or whatever You should be able to recoup your money um, if not actually make some so trying to keep it as fair and as fun as possible for you all but yeah that's exciting news this is the spring drop again we have packs in the $25 range the $50 range uh, a bunch of bulk packs at 25 and 50 for everybody um, as well as some specialty packs like I said that go on up we've got tons of them uh, they will be first come, first serve. Once they're gone, they are gone. But the exciting news about this, folks, is that this Friday, tomorrow, the 25th of March, who needs to go out? Who cares about going out and seeing your friends? Who cares about leaving your house? Stay at home, put your pajamas on, and do what the cool kids are doing, and jump on YouTube, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, tomorrow, March 25th, for a random live chill session uh on youtube it's going to be tons of fun uh we're going to be breaking cards i might do a couple little giveaways here and there but the idea is that uh we're going to break these live so i'm going to have all the packs out here you folks can jump in and um, purchase the packs right here live with me and we can rip them if you want if you'd rather have yours just shipped to you so you can rip it there's no issues with that but I'll probably do something kind of fun because people like seeing cards get pulled. So maybe we'll do like a 5% discount if you rip your pack live, something like that. In other news, those of you who enjoy free cards rather than buying packs, I implore you to join us on Monday. I believe that's the 28th. Let's verify that. It is indeed the 28th of March, this coming Monday, 28 March, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here live on YouTube for free. That's right, folks, free. UFC trivia where we give away cards. This one's going to be one of the mega trivia, so you're definitely going to want to show up. 10 questions, 10 winners, and a bounty with the opportunity for the mega bounty if you so wish. It's a fantastic time. Again, it won't cost you a penny. You just simply have to be subscribed and show up and you can participate. You don't even have to pay shipping 
What more do you want? The only thing more I could do is deliver these cards to you. It's a great deal. If you like free cards, if you like UFC cards, if you like trivia, come stop by. It's a great time. Tell your friends. All right, let's get into a little news here for those of you who uh, have been asking me about what I thought about the Colby and Jorge thing. I got to tell you, folks, uh, certainly I don't condone uh, punching people randomly in the street. Typically, that's not going to work out for you, especially if you're not famous. Odds are you're going to have some pretty serious consequences that come with that. I would also add, and, it, and I'm a fan of both of these guys, but let me add, uh, Jorge also had, you know, like he got to fight him and he lost, you know, so he had his chance. But at the same time, folks, I got to say, honestly, at the end of the day, this is just for me, for me personally, and a lot of you might not agree with this, and that's okay. That's what makes uh, that's what makes the world and the human race beautiful is that we have differing opinions. Uh, but let me just say, in my heart of hearts, I gotta say, I don't know that I would have acted differently than Jorge, and I don't know that a lot of you would have acted differently from Jorge. I'm not one that I don't even really think anything's out of bounds. You know, if you're talking shit for a fight, you're talking shit. The contents of that message. Um, really is kind of irrelevant uh, to me, but at the same time, I mean, if you, you're saying what you're saying, you're talking about a guy like Jorge, I mean, what do you expect? Did you really think that he was just going to let you say all the things that you said and not, you know, not do anything about it? It's pretty serious business uh, to some guys like that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, he ran his mouth a lot. He told him it was on site in public and he was going to drop Jorge on his head and this and that. So, you know, I don't, I don't really blame Jorge either. I think it just is what it is. It's just some beef between two guys. Uh, he got caught up, and here we are talking about it. So I don't want to get crazy in depth on that, but uh, you know, several people have been asking me what I think. So that's what I think. Jorge should let it go. Should have got it done in the cage. But at the same time, Colby, I mean, if you're gonna run your mouth, all I'm saying is, is if somebody said those things to me, uh, you know, about my kids and this and that. Uh, you know, <laughs> I can't say the outcome would have been much different. So I can't, I can't sit here on a pedestal and act like uh, I would have taken some diplomatic route. And again, I don't think many of you would have either. Uh, there's just some things that are, that are bigger than worrying about getting in trouble or going to jail. You know, when it comes to your kids, like, I don't give a shit about that. You know, I don't, I don't care about consequences when you're talking about defending your kids at least in your mind and I know some of you might be like hey he's just talking it's just words this and that I agree but uh, you know we're not Jorge and everybody has a different perception and a different truth in life so it is what it is the other big story making the rounds is Patty Pimblett revealing he got 12 and 12 we already had a discussion on this folks I actually stated verbatim that the 12 12 model was garbage a couple months back uh, I think it's just absolutely, it's embarrassing, if anything else. I typically never jump on these uh, bandwagon topics like this where people are hating on the UFC. I love the UFC, especially having watched it grow in its entirety. I've seen every single UFC that's ever, ever happened. Every single one. So I've watched this company grow, and I'm sure a lot of you have too. I've watched this company grow, and you watch it evolve, so you get a, a, a bit of a an understanding too where the UFC is coming from like this is their baby they're sticking to the model it's what got them to the dance in the first place but at the same time when you're paying a guy like Patty and Patty's not some big star he's yet to prove himself the way he looked in his fight to be honest with you he's not even championship material I'm not saying he can't go on and be a champion someday and I'm not saying that he's not skilled but he's been compromised in both fights so far um, against competition that honestly isn't even close to top five competition. So, um, you know, I don't think that Patty deserves millions and six figures or even six figures a fight, to be honest with you. But 12 and 12 is embarrassing. That's honestly just embarrassing, especially in today's age, especially with all the money they make. They're making so much money with that ESPN deal, so on and so forth. Probably the biggest thing that pisses me off would be wearing the crypto stuff and they don't get any of that money. Like, there's definitely something to be said, but it, it, I said it in the last video and I'll say it now, it all just kind of boils down to the simple fact that if the fighters themselves aren't doing anything about this, 
there's nothing we can do, right? If somebody's not willing to help themselves, what the hell are we supposed to do? Uh, Dan Hardy made a great point yesterday, um, and it's, it's right in line with what we're talking about here, with what I'm talking about, in that there's a lot of fighters who say things publicly, but then they go behind closed doors and they sign these deals, you know, and then they walk away uh, without saying anything. As long as that continues to happen, there's not going to be any change. He made another good point stating that it's hard to get a coalition of people together whose job it is, is to fight each other, right? It's hard for these guys to come together when these guys fight each other for a living. So there's a lot of, man, there's a lot of uh, tricky elements to this situation, but something clearly needs to be done managers need to step if you're if you're patty pimlet's manager like what the hell are you doing of course we all know patty pimlet's manager was is also uh was running the organization the promotion that he was fighting in prior to coming to the ufc so this guy's just farming people out of that organization and then signing as their manager and scooting them into the ufc so, and he also, they have uh, a deal on ESPN Plus, which was also mentioned. So, you know, maybe not wanting to muddy those waters, who knows, but something needs to happen. The managers need to get it together. The game's getting a little bit grimy here uh, and before we embarrass our sport. And honestly, I'd, I'd like to not be able to bring this attention. We live in a, a culture right now, um, a pile on culture where people who don't even give a shit about an issue are just going to pile on because they think it's virtuous. They want to appear virtuous. They want to appear part of change and in the right, even when they don't really give a shit. So we need to not give ammo to these kinds of situations and these kind of people, especially something like this, you know, a 12 and 12 for Patty, who was pro arguably the biggest straw of the event. We're just giving them ammunition and, and justified ammunition. This is something they, you know, people have a right to be upset about. So I don't know. I get uh, asked a lot about that, you know, fighter pay and topics that come up. So I thought I would share for those of you who may care what I have to say about it. But that is all I am going to say on that, folks. I just wanted to come at you real quick here, let you know about the new mystery pack drop. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll be a great time on Friday night. Come hang out. We'll rip some packs live. I'm thinking also about maybe doing a Sunday cards and coffee type scenario after the events. Um, we can get together Sunday morning, discuss the events live, and maybe even rip some packs then. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what people think and what you all want to do, and we'll go with that. That is going to do it, folks. I sure appreciate all your support. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mace Collectibles. We do giveaways. Uh, occasionally i would say during the fights um, and it's a good way for me to connect with you i try to follow back most of the people that i see on there uh, for when i'm on instagram i love seeing y'all's cards as well so head over there make sure you're subscribed here appreciate the support please try to join me friday night if you can't no harm no foul but try to swing in monday you can get you some free cards then Folks, we are so close to prism. I can't wait to bring that to you. We got a group break drop in here. Uh, you will see that auction on eBay here tonight. Oh, excuse me, Friday night, uh, tomorrow. So if you would like to jump into a pick your fighter group break, make sure you head over and check out Mace Collectibles on eBay. That's going to do it, folks. I appreciate you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take care.